Bye below. Alright, I'll probably put the blade on this kitchen. West Virginia. <laughs> I don't believe you. Uh. <laughs> uh. I'm glad that was so good. Uh, welcome to the show. Y'all ready? I don't know. This is Atari Living Sacrifice. Got my good buddy. This is backwards because I've seen the, the. It's got my good, good buddy Slayers over here. Hey, Cool X. And we have. Beer. Beer. Along with Hunt a Killer. Hunt a Killer. Um, this is a. It's kind of like an. If you've ever heard of an escape room, we're assuming it's kind of like an escape room that, um, you know, you got to figure out the puzzles and solve who the killer is. There you go. First option, the first puzzle is how to get the box open using a box cutter. And I, I'll let you. That's right. So we have the unveiling the of the box. That was not as. There's no like blood oh, or nothing. Oh, let's look at this. What we got here? We got. Uh, looks like a little. Oh, so it comes with a journal for you to write stuff. So a you journal? take that since to write. It's yours. But I'm gonna give you your notepad. Just to back. say, oh, H K. Hunt a killer. All right, so we got a little pin uh, that maybe there's a clue in there. We got a little notepad to take, take notes on. And now we start going into the clues to figure out who the killer is. Welcome to episode one. This month's package, this month your package contains 10 items. And it says verify your episode contents, hunt a killer inventory, because apparently sometimes they forget to put things in there. Oh, that's, uh, do, you, so, do we want to read the rules before we open yes, this up and everything? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Hunt a killer is often hand packed. Uh, welcome to the hunt. Hunt a killer is an interactive story. It's like a TV show you can touch or a YouTube show. Uh, the game can be played alone with a small team or with thousands of individuals across the globe. By receiving the first episode, you are now part of the Hunt a Killer universe. How to play. Getting started may seem a bit overwhelming, but concentrating your efforts in the following areas will, will help. Analysis. A good place to begin is to read everything. Read through it again. Is there anything that seems out of place? Anything that doesn't make sense? Identifying inconsistencies will help focus your investigation. Objects. Examine the items within the package. Every detail contributes to the investigation. Could the objects have multiple meanings? Could you find connections between different items within the package? Could any of the items lead you to something else? Research. To get the most out of your hunter killer experience, you will need to perform some outside research. Don't worry, all research items are rooted within the package. Be on the lookout for scientific, literary, and historical connections. This is an exciting opportunity to gain new knowledge and test new theories. Everything you need can be found at your local library or on the internet. Physical interactions slash tools. Don't be afraid to play around with the items. Turn them upside down, stack them on top of each other, hold them up to a light, you may be surprised how much you can learn from a new perspective. Mm. Most packages will contain tools delivered outside the story, example, a flashlight. These tools are meant to inspire physical interaction with the package contents. I can't wait. Puzzles, codes, and ciphers. Try and spot codes and puzzles throughout each package. With some quick research and trial and error, you should be able to unlock new information. Take notes. Your first episode contains a journal to take notes on your investigations. Taking notes on any clues or ideas from the start might help you solve cases down the road. You can use them to draw connections and to move back and forth between episodes more easily. Ah, so it's not just episode, 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 they all interconnect. It's the Hunt a Killer universe. Ah. Or game -averse. Okay. Instead of cinema. And so, also, it doesn't sound like, like escape rooms, everything that you need is in the room. With this, we actually have to look up stuff. It's like a, what do they call it, ARG? Is that what it's called? Augmented reality or mm -hmm, something mm -hmm. like that? Um, solving the cases. In each hunt killer season, there's a lot going on. As you progress through each episode, smaller cases will pop up to the four episodes in length for you to investigate with a larger mystery slowly building. For the smaller cases, discovering what is really happening will play out differently. A character in the story might reveal what happened through a puzzle or a code. There may be a particularly revealing piece of evidence that ties everything together. Pieces and details from multiple packages might all tie together with a final clue. The season-long mystery will be explained in a season finale that connects all the dots, explains most of the important details, and fills in the rabbit holes. Ooh. So we're going to need to keep all these notes we take and everything, because it seems like it's all good. 
Need help? Everyone needs a little help now and then? Hunt a Killer provides two great methods to help your investigation. First, we developed a mechanism within the story to give you specific notes that will let you know if your theories are on the right path. Second, Hunt a Killer has a large social media community who can help. Some may be deeper into the story than you, but plenty are right where you are. Ask for advice from a veteran or work on an episode from your Hunter colleagues. Join the community at huntakiller.freeforums.net. Um, there's a warning about spoilers. Try to avoid that. And then your Hunter Killer experience. The quality... Try to avoid spoilers. Mm -hmm. All you Game of Thrones people who tried to ruin Darth everything. Darth Vader is not Luke's father, unless you've already seen the movie. Um, the quality of your Hunter Killer experience is directly related to the effort you put towards it. Our goal is to provide interactive entertainment that's challenging, rewarding, and compelling. We think it is important to exercise your brain, physically, physically interact with items, and enjoy your time without being glued to your computer, phone, or television screen. Very nice. Very nice. So, we got the notepad, we got our little pin. So we should have ten, ten items, items. So, as we open this up. Alright, so we're going. opening the envelope. Very carefully, there might be anthrax or something in there. Ooh. Mouthwash cup. Okay, so we got a mouthwash cup. Is that what it's called? Or to or uh, is that the same thing you put your ketchup in? Yeah. Top? Yeah. It's what, what you put it's a multi mouthwash cup, but with this ketchup cup. Ketchup cup. Um ketchup cup. Number one. We have Three. a swan, the swan. Swan. Okay. Is that a piece of known artwork? Like is we this? We have. Oh, what do they call this with the star, star f formations on it? Constellation. Constellation. It's a constellation map. Yeah. So we got a constellation, constellation map. Put it over here. In the, I don't know if they can. I don't know. See it or not. Okay. What's next? Swan. There's a there's a weird little something on the back here. Okay. Good. Let's, let's be careful. Later. Let's not take anything apart too fast. And we have. Sinkhole highlights, a little, Sinkhole let's call it a uh, newspaper clipping. Piece of fiber optic plastic stuck to the back of the... And we have Being a, organized is a key factor in winning um, escape, room. escape rooms. Two better right. inside of And we have a letter from a friend. Letter from John Williams James. And then we have another letter from James. Listening Friends of America. So, so two letters. Two letters. So that looks like we are missing. This is listening friends. I saw that sometimes things are missing. That'd be a lot. That's four items. Hunt a killer. Dot com slash inventory. Episode one. Dot com slash inventory. This is episode one of season one, right? Yes. Right. First and foremost, I wish to express my gratitude for your agreeing to receive my letters. Strangely, though, we have not yet met. I feel, friend I feel a friendship growing between us with every keystroke. I do not address you as friend in reference to our intermediaries, but rather because I see you already in this light. It can be difficult to be alone. The click and ding of this machine is not unlike the slow and irregular beating of a weary heart. If only I was allowed a pen. Hmm. John William James. Well, I mean, I got a pen, but... Well, maybe he's got a, he's got a uh, typewriter instead. Yeah, the notebook? Yeah, so no, the notebook is one. Trying to get in? Oh, yeah. Come in. The notebook is one. Oh, okay. The letter, listening Friends of America letter, the uh -huh. swan, the constellation, the piece of nylon wire, so that's another item. Ah. Um, news article copy, the yep. cup, letter from Pin Pal, cup. HA instructions was one. Instructions was one? HA, uh, uh, HAK label. Oh, this thing. RPM? Okay. The lapel. 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 Okay, so we do have everything. Good to go. So there's no instructions, we just... We are... I can only assume you are... Let's see if it has a reflection. And some nylon wire. Horizon of London, England. The northern sky at TP... Um, anything with September on these letters or anything? This one has July's date on it. Uh, the pen pile letter does not have a date on it as of yet. I'm reading through it. 
Dear Listening Friend, this is from Listening Friends of America. Dear Listening Friend, thank you for joining our community and welcome to Listening Friends of America. We at LFOA are excited and grateful to have you in our community and we appreciate all of our volunteer support for the thousands of isolated men and women living in prisons, hospitals, hospices, psychiatric wards across the country. As you know, many people through whatever circumstances, circumstances live their lives without any available shoulder to cry on or a friend to confide in. You will provide an immeasurable emotional support for someone with a story to tell and no one to listen. Rest assured, your privacy and safety are among our top concerns. Each package you receive from your friend will be inspected for hazardous materials and any deliberate attempts to cause you harm will be removed and your friend will be reassigned. In addition, scanners and software will identify keywords in any written correspondence and flag offending documents. However, no one in our Safety and Privacy Assurance Office will read unflagged documents out of consideration for the privacy of our work demands. For the privacy of our work demands. If you do happen to read anything detailing illegal conduct, you are under no such obligation and are encouraged to contact local law enforcement. Flagged documents may be removed from any packages, and after multiple flags, your friend will be reassigned. Again, thank you for your time. You are about to make a difference in someone's life and begin a very unique and special relationship. Listen well. Your friend believes in you. Sincerely, George Madsen, Vice President and Chief Welcoming Agent, Listening Friends of America, listeningfriendsofamerica.org. Would you like to go to listeningfriendsofamerica.org? On your phone? Sure, I'll look into that. So apparently, Listening Friends of America is where we get this friend letter um, from John William James. Um, so, so let's write that down that we've got a connection there. There's, yeah, that's so a good idea. We've got Listening Friends of America. And who's connected to that, Billy? Right now, I have a letter from John William James. It's our first friend. Okay, first friend is John. Williams or just William? John William James. Okay. So he is writing the letter to yes. a friend or he is he, from he a friend? He has written the letter to us assuming we are the dearest friend. Okay. You want to read that? Um, I read the first paragraph, but we'll start over. My dearest friend, I first and foremost wish to express my gratitude to, uh, for, for agreeing to receive my letters. Strangely, though, we have not yet met. I feel our friendship growing between us with every keystroke. I do not address you as friend in reference to our intermediaries, but rather because I see you already in this light. It can be difficult to be alone. The click and ding of this machine is not unlike the slow, irregular beating of a weary heart. If only I was allowed a pen. I can only assume that by your apparent interest in what a forgotten old man may write write to you that you are curious in nature. In this regard, we are quite similar. I find my own curiosity nearly insatiable. I have developed in my own time a certain taste for the bittersweet chaos that inevitably ensues. Do you know this craving? Does it flow through you as it does me? You may think your own curiosity to be more subdued, and in truth, I once felt the same way. It was only through meditative reflection and in a lifetime of little, seemingly insignificant leaks of my cur curious spirit into the world that I realized something vital to my being. The leaky pipe carries more water. I'm curious if the leaky pipe means anything. The leaky pipe carries more water? Yeah. That doesn't um, make just sense. Just to give you an update, there is a website, um, and I signed up for an email. Haven't gotten anything yet, but I'll keep you updated with that. Okay. okay keep going. Unfortunately for me, the majority of those behind desk making decisions, breaks and leaks are more likely to show depression. To, to last decades and perhaps a century, but you and I know it is more than that. It is the feeling of longing for that roast of knowledge, that roast of knowledge, upon which those only with our curious hunger may feast. It is the thrill of the hunt. <clears throat> And what is it a hunter does? A hunter stalks his prey and gets inside its head. He knows the prey. He understands its behaviors. The best hunters commune with their quarry. They respect it and perhaps even love it. But for the hunter to refine his skills, he must learn from his prey. 
He accepts that there are things that he does not know. Perhaps he, he never will. But he craves the knowledge. Do you, do you do this, my friend? Do you think I know something? You must, or you wouldn't have chosen to become engaged in this discourse we now share. Perhaps I know something, or could know nothing of any value. If I did, I would only give my secret to someone clever enough and curious enough to hunt for it. I do hope, I do hope you prove to be just such a friend to me. It can be difficult to be alone. I feel a great weight, the great weight of isolation upon me. Will you help dig me out? Always, John William James. All right. Um, interesting line from the, uh, the website. As an LFOA volunteer, your obligation is simple. Read their letters. Okay. Um, um, your 10 minutes will mean a lifetime to our community members. What? Do we have anything time related? No. Read. When I guess it's just saying the time we spend reading the letters. It's assuming it took me 10, 10 minutes to get through these three paragraphs or four paragraphs. Um, and then it, right here, look at here real quick. Um, it says, which one was it? Two last decades and perhaps a century. Like, like the, just the, w the way it was worded right here. Unfortunately for me, to the majority of those behind desks making decisions, breaks and leaks are more likely to show depression. Two last decades, period. Two last decades, period. And perhaps a century, period. But it's like a run-on sentence, but he's got periods in there, and it doesn't, it doesn't make a lot of sense the way that's worded. Well, let's keep an eye out for things <coughs> relating to time. Um, friend right. is capitalized in this letter every time. I don't know if that's because it's specifically it listening be. friends. It's another one. All right, sinkhole highlights challenges of preventing, detecting infrastructure failings by it's uh it's what did you find with a date on it William? there's uh the constellation map okay little things are like blocked out you know like it's uh what do they call that um, um like censorship censored um you know secret or top secret documents stuff I like that by blank dance and the thing it came in by blank dance contact reporter blank july 10th 2016 when a sinkhole created blank from one sidewalk to the other last week, there was no telling how long it had been growing. Where might similar disasters be waiting to happen? City Public Works officials say that they are stepping up efforts to find out, but acknowledge that they can't prevent them all. Transportation officials, meanwhile, couldn't say how widespread similar problems might be. A leak in an 8-inch water pipe feeding a single property on Mulberry caused a 30-foot deep sinkhole to open between blank and blank streets on the 4th of July. It was the city's latest infrastructure failure following breaks in city-owned water and sewer mains on blank in blank last month and blank in blank in April. It went undetected because that section of what is a major west to east artery across downtown is paved with concrete. While more durable than asphalt, concrete is also less prone to showing signs of trouble beneath it. Underscoring the difficulty of noticing such issue issues before they become major problems, public works crews did not notice any leak under the roadway, even as they replaced a water main under the same stretch of road last month. You use a certain amount of judgment, spokesman Blank said, in, as, of the city's efforts to out fragile or broken pipes. In this case, the water main was a higher priority than blank because it blank to more customers. The city has contracts with several companies to scan its water system for vulnerabilities using electromagnetic acoustic or video probes, blank said. Officials factor in a pipe's age, material, and any history of breaks to prioritize it for inspection, he said. The efforts have helped reduce the number of water main breaks, breaks in the city by almost 40% since fiscal year 2014, though they still numbered almost 800 in the fiscal year that ended June 30th, occurring more than twice a day on average. The department aims to repair or replace 15 miles of water mains each year, and they finished 19 miles of mains in the last fiscal year. It's not a perfect science, Blank said. You cannot do 4,000 miles of pipes all at once. 
If blanks do occur, they blank easier to detect beneath asphalt than under concrete, engineers said. It's like covering a hole with a blanket versus a piece of plywood. The asphalt is blank a blank if not allow water, if not allow water to bubble up. City transportation spokeswoman blank could not say how many miles of city roads are paved with concrete nor why the material is used on some roads and not others. Engineers said it is designed blank, while asphalt requires more frequent maintenance. That section of blank likely has been paved with, some, with the same concrete slabs for at least 50 years, blank said, blank blank said. That was the standard practice back in those days, she said. The blank sinkhole is expected to take weeks to repair and refill. Now, can we see the words through the light at all? We hold it up to a light. I don't think so. This thing keeps bringing up listening. It makes me believe there's something we're supposed to listen to, but I don't know how we can... And can that, if we look through, hold it up to the light, we cannot see the letters that they have gone through. I'm checking out the Facebook page for Listening Friends of America now. Okay. You're uh, going down a rabbit hole, man. Property on Mulberry. Public officials. Here's the, the nylon string as well. I was looking to see if it lined up perfectly with any of the constellations. Oh shit, there's a ton of feathers on here. Are they a single? I see a black man. That's a good idea, Billy. Oh my gosh, okay. There's a lot to read. There's a staff spotlight on each staff member. From Friends of America? Listening Friends of America, yeah. Happy balloons, water rats and singing cats say happy balloons. Eat the cakes and dry tears with spoons. It's your birthday, it's your birthday. Send all your bad presents away. Happy balloons, Lee S. Lee S. What's the website that you went to? This is the Listening Friends of America Facebook page. Sandcastle by Frank X. My family loved the beach, gold things, fancy dress-up parties, and servants. I got everything I wanted, needed nothing. I felt safe and snug as a bug in Dionia Musibula. Is there anything on here that matches that? There's only, there's list, listings of different cities, um, Louisville, um, New Orleans, Boston, and the map is over none of those locations. Okay. I learned to shove around. I told lies, made Nanny do my chores, teased my parents. I demanded. I never felt dead dream. I never feed dead dreams. Skin the pelt from the nightmare drug. My memoriam, Puritia. I guess we're not looking at a map of any any land, we're looking at what's above Boston. Now the doctors, nice tall folks, wearing white coats, tell me I'm fresh out of minds like normal people have. Time to find them again. I'd like to feel real connections and pretend that I have a family. This is a lot more in depth than, a, than an escape room, isn't it? Yeah. So you already signed up for the email. Did you get an email yet? Not yet. Well, right now, other than noting that um, our friend mentions leaky pipes carrying more water and leaky pipes yes. also destroying a, a small section of the town. There's something, there's a connection there. Um, he was referring to curiosity. My question is, was his curiosity to see how much damage he could do to a city? Mm. Um, I feel like our friend may be a prisoner since he was not allowed a pen. Um, this is a that is a really good. Here's a Facebook I, review of listening for. Oh, sorry, go on. I, I think I'm a pen pal. I think we're pen pals with a prisoner here. He's allowed to communicate with the outside world so long as he doesn't say anything dangerous. To, and he's to not house. allowed to have a pen in his hand. So he's not allowed to have a pen because he could hurt somebody. So he's allowed to use the typewriter because it's bolted to the desk, basically. Um, and he mentions 
leaky pipes carrying more water, and here they mentioned leaky pipes destroying a big portion of the town or a large portion of a street. Did he harm anyone in helping this water get where it needed to go? They assumed that so, it was natural because concrete leaks, but... So we're trying to figure out, is John William James a killer? Well, he is a hunter. He, he says he's hunting for knowledge, but was he also hunting for prey? Like, is his prey more than knowledge? Is he stalking more than information? Here is a uh, review of Listening Friends of America. I think the purpose of your organization, allowing those isolated by incarceration in prisons or mental hospitals, an outlet through written communication with a non-judgmental correspondent outside world is wonderful and potentially very therapeutic. However, I do have a few concerns. The first is that the inspectors who have received the packages I have received seem quite naive and not very thorough in determining what should be being sent and said to unsuspecting members of the public, i.e. a razor-sharp knife hidden inside a pen dripping with blood wrapped in a clearly plastic and clearly visible. My second question is regarding the nature of your organization. In the description, it sounds as though you are a third-party facilitator of these communications between prison, hospital residents, and voluntary Speaking members of the public. Is, but by reading the profiles the posted on your Facebook page, it is clear that you in fact run a network of what sounds like residential mental health facilities where the patient participates in these friend communications or involuntary patients. Am I correct in this assessment? Why aren't you upfront about this? What is the name of your facilities? What's he, what's he worried about? That somebody's going to send a razor through the mail? Yeah. This is from Shelley commenting on that review. Well, I love hearing from my friend and providing such a necessary service. However, I don't believe the packages are being inspected as promised. I received a pin that was tightly wrapped in cling wrap, which, was, which had not been removed for inspection. Inside, I found a blood-soaked pin with a sharp blade inside. While I was not harmed in the opening of this gift, I am left to wonder whose blood is on it and how did my friend happen to get such dangerous object and how he was able to send it out in his package. Please respond. So I'm assuming all Friends of America are prisoners. Um, uh, it says it does hospitals prisoners or, or, or mental patients. And they're, being, they're the ones that are writing the letters and... Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that theory is confirmed. Um, I... Nothing for the mouthwash cup or dick thimble or whatever this is. Um, you may think your own curiosity to be more subdued in the same way. It was only through meditative reflection on a lifetime of little seemingly insignificant leaks of my curious spirit into the world that I realized something vital to my being. The leaky pipe carries more water. Unfortunately for me, the, to the majority of those behind desks, making decisions, breaks, and leaks are more likely to show depression. So this is this whole paragraph right here is written, everything else is written in proper English, commas everywhere it's supposed to be and all that kind of stuff. Who was making the decisions? The department aims to repair 15 miles. It's not a perfect science. Blank said. We, were, we covered up who said all of this. City transportation spokeswoman. So there is a mention of time here, uh, 50 years, which is five decades. He mentions decades and centuries. Mm -hmm. um, so that section of blank likely has been paved with the same concrete slabs for at least 50 years, so and so said. That was a standard practice back in those days. And he's an old man, so he could have helped pave the roads. Mm -hmm. He could have had a chance to sabotage the roads at that time. Okay, what names do we have so far? We've got George Mad Madsen, right? John William James. We have Blank Dance. 
Dance was a contact reporter for whatever newspaper. D A N C E. Mm -hmm. But we don't know what their first name was. They were a reporter, though. Mm -hmm. Who reported on a sinkhole that happened on July 4th, 2016. Does it say what city? Did we ever figure out what city? Mo it says on Mulberry. It doesn't say what town. I'm curious if it was Boston, New Orleans, or Louisville, or Philadelphia. All of those seem to be mentioned in this letter, or in this, um, and London. London is another place that's mentioned on there. I can't, is this, is this no, that's the, the land? Sky. You're looking, you're looking at the heavens. Right, but I'm, I'm assuming that this is the this heavens and then this is the earth that it's, like if you look up, straight up, this is what you would see. Yes, I think it's if you look straight up from, um, Horizon of London, England, if you're looking in the direction, like, so you're, st this is some part of London, England. I think this is if you look at the night sky from London towards Boston. Okay, Google. Map of London. Can I see, a map I see the London cup and the United. pin belly? And the swan. The swan's also oh, I haven't even belly. looked at the swan. The only thing I find odd about the swan is it looks like there's an object protruding, protruding from its posterior. Yeah, that thing. I don't know. Could where that, that be its foot or? It could be. It doesn't foot. look like a foot. Does it looks that like a handle. look like a swan? Is it a swan because we looked at it because it's called the swan? Or you know, there, there's some pictures that look like two things if you look at it a different way. See this? Does it have anything to do with this at all, or we can't really? No. Sorry, and it's gone. <laughs> Did it come chipped like this? Yes. Because it looks like this. Okay. Do we need to make a blood sacrifice? <laughs> Cephas. Where is Cephas? So, technically, this is the only thing our friend sent us, right? Right. Who sent us all this other information? <laughs> That's a great question. Why? How what, do those, what is our goal right now? No, 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 no. He sent us everything. Listening Friends of America, he sent us everything. So is... No, Little Friends of America sent us. He didn't send us this. But that was right. the... Uh, that was the... Um, he built the packet, though. He built the packet with the exception of the welcome letter. Right. Um, I'm curious if perhaps John is the swan. I'll be right back. But what, that, what does that mean, though? Okay, Google. Can I see this one? Okay, Google. Cygnus. According to Wikipedia, Cygnus is a northern constellation lying on the plain of the Milky Way, deriving its name from the Latinized Greek word for swan. What'd you say? Where's Cygnus? And it's the Latin word Cygnus. for swan. We do not have a pencil. Cygnus is this constellation right here. But the Latin word for Cygnus is swan. But the Latin, I was kind of lucky. I was just, I thought it was the land. I thought it was a city in no. London. Well, this is Milky Way, so I think this is galaxy. I think okay. this is just dots showing a whole bunch of stuff. Gotcha. But Cygnus is swan, so, so this is important. Mm-hmm. Not a pencil? I, I don't know where I have pencils. I don't know if we're audio recording, by the way, or not. Oh, we are. Okay. <laughs> You're like, oh, don't worry about it. Is it a swan real fast? Hold on one second. So, Cygnus is Cygnus Latin for swan. means swan in Latin. Sickness? Cygnus? Cygnus. C-Y-G okay. and F. But there's a connection there. But I can't see the... Are you doing that over the swan? Yeah, just to see. Are you almost getting an impression of the swan? I'm getting an impression of nothing. That's disappointing. It was worth a try, though. 
Overhead. O is the point overhead for the latitude of Philadelphia. Star of first mag. Yeah, I don't think there's anything there. Star of third mag. Star of second mag. What is mag? Fourth. O is the point overhead for the latitude of Boston. O for London, England. So if the swan is the one... So K, okay. okay Google, how to read constellation maps. No, maps, not maps. <laughs> Did we find anything related to China other than those? What's with a four? I'm curious as to why we're looking at the northern sky at 10 p.m. September 23rd, at 9 p.m. on October 8th, and 8 p.m. on October 23rd. I think, oh uh, yeah. What are these dates? What does the cup have to do with anything? Oh, okay, okay, okay. O is the point overhead for latitude of Philadelphia. It's just Philad. We're assuming it's Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. O is the point. On this side, O is the point. So that would be. Well, there's, there's different, is it different O's. Yeah. There's different shapes of O's. There's an O for the um, for the latitude of for London, England. There's an O overhead for Boston. Okay, Google. The, the northern sky at 10 p.m. September 23rd, at 9 p.m. October 8th. And at 8 p.m. October 23rd. Here's what I found. Man, this thing is about as vague as they get. Mm -hmm. Is this how all, most escape rooms go? Or? No, this is not an escape room. This is completely different. <sighs> There's like no direction. It's here's a bunch of shit known as the swan. Well, you've ever thought you could be a detective? Well, let's group stuff together. Well, so we know these have a connection, right? We do now. And we know those two have a connection. Mm -hmm. Cygnus is, uh, is associated with the myth of Zeus. Oh, yeah, and our ID. Zero, Easy one, to find three, in the night sky. Inspector Dodge, who's RS? Asterisk is unknown as. That's our inspector, but it doesn't have. Oh, cross Cygnus was first categorized, cataloged. But you said that people were sending stuff that they shouldn't have. Yeah, someone found bloody razors. Cygnus constellation is associated with several myths, most frequently the one of the Spartan, the Spartan queen Ladea, who gave birth to two sets of twins, the immortal Pollux and Helen, and mortal Castor and Clementria. I think you were going down the right path, William, go looking at the website and all that. Well, check out their Facebook page and everything and do some research on that. I'll let you know if I, I still haven't gotten anything for signing up for the email. That they emphasize listening so much. Listening, friends, I feel like there's going to be an audio thing that's going to come up. I'm going to look up what these other constellation names mean. So we got Cygnus means swan. Mm -hmm. I've been watching this elementary show. 
and he smells everything, and then he can tell. Lacerta is a genus of lizards. We got Cephas. Is the constellation Lyra on there? L Y R A. L Y R A. Mm-hmm. I do not. Oh, I see Lynx. I don't see Lyra. Got side for a second. Um, I do not see Lyra, Billy. Cephas is a constellation in the northern sky. is named after Cephas, king of Ethiopia in Greek mythology. I'm reading a lot about Greek mythology right now. Oh, okay. Where do you? How do you make the connection there? Um, Zeus, uh, Zeus turned himself into a swan in order to um, woo Cygnus. Okay. The the uh, Spartan queen Lydia who gave birth to two sets of twins, the immortal Pollux and Helen, and the mortal Castor and... Oh, Castor. Okay, that makes sense. Um, and... Cle it sounds like chlamydia. Like, clemenstria. It sounds like a horrible disease you would catch. Don't, don't touch Zeus, you might get clemenstria. Draco is a constellation of four northern sky. It is named Latin for dragon. It's also sometimes identified as Orpheus, the murdered by Maenads for not honoring Dionysus. Cassiopeia. After death, Orpheus was Maynard transformed the vain into a queen. Swan Park, perhaps. Happy balloons, water rats, and singing cats say happy balloons. Eat yep, the cakes and dry tears with spoons. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. Send. This is what you were reading earlier. Send all your bad presents away. Happy balloons, Lee S. And then it says Swan, Estella D. Rossi says Swan Park, perhaps. I can't tell if this person is an actual person or just for the. I think that's an actual person. Can I see the constellation for a second? Absolutely. George Madsen? George Madsen. This is George Madsen. Mm -hmm. This is the VP. Uh, George Madsen came to Listening Friends of America 15 years ago as an unproven, energetic young man who believed wholeheartedly in the mission of the organization. How many years ago? 15, 15 years ago. was that ago. posted? So 2013. So that'd be 1998. This is George Madsen. With an extensive education in psychology and psychopharmacology, psychopharmacology, George helped to establish Darlington at the forefront of cutting-edge treatments for our patients. Many of these treatments are continually in use at our facilities nationwide. George proved himself quite early to be on to be a leader. George proved himself quite early on to be a leader and a true friend to all of our staff and patients. He rose quickly among the ranks of Listening Friends of America, and the position of vice president was created specifically for him so he could cut through the bureaucratic tape more easily and efficiently at Darlington. What is Darlington? Probably a Where city. is Darlington? Just a few years after turning Darlington from a satellite campus into our flagship facility, George married his high school sweetheart right there on the facility grounds. It's in the newspaper article. The couple currently have a young son, and the happy family continues to inspire all of us here at Listening Friends of America with their optimism and compassion.
what this looks like from. What? The, the part of this deal. It's mm. not related to this. Uh, we can, can, show we can cut that out of the video. So, his name was Scott Dance. He's of the Baltimore Sun. How do you know that? Um, it's an actual thing that happened. Really? There's, a, there's an actual article online of... Scott Dance, Boston what? The Baltimore Sun. In here. Oh, Billy, fill out the words. I'm, words working, on, I'm working on that. Um, it was July 10th, 2016. Mulberry Sinkhole Highlights Challenges. Oh, my. Where's the pencil? July 10th. Oh, wow. People already are Googling this. Don't write on it. I, I just be careful to, like, we have we have all the paper in the okay. world. So. Okay. So. Here we go. Baltimore Sun, the Mulberry Sinkhole Highlights Challenges of Preventing, Detecting. Okay. Here, let me. Well, this is a real thing? Shit's game. Great. There's a video. Oh, there's a video. Billy, play the video and listen very carefully to it because the, it's highlighting. You listen. probably know it was uh, early yesterday, July 4th, when uh, the roadway uh, collapsed. Uh, there was a uh, uh, water main break on a 8 inch water line. The water had been running for some time and uh, eroded. Uh, earth under the road that created a, a condition where the road could not uh, support itself anymore and gave way. As the day went on, the opening in the street continued in size until we are where we, hear, uh, where we are right now. Uh, currently, we are continuing to uh, assess the condition of the uh, various utilities in the hole. In addition to um, the 8-inch water main, we have an older 20-inch line, a new 20-inch line, we have an 80-inch sewer main, and we have uh, Verizon and BGE utilities. So there's a lot going on underneath this roadway, and all that has to be uh, inspected and, and assessed. Um, Ooh. Leaky pipe was uh, we know that um, out. a lot of the earth fill material that was here before is gone. We're trying to figure out where that went. We'll be looking at the 80-inch sewer main to see to what extent that may have come into play uh, in carrying away the uh, sediment under the road. Uh, and. Uh, we may have to uh, make a uh, fix of that sewer line as well. Uh, again, we're assessing and seeing where we are and what we'll need to do. Okay. Um, they highlighted out breaks and leaks. So leaking is becoming a very key word that's popping up. So if a leaky pipe, if a pipe is leaking and it's that big of a leak, you said there was an 8-inch leak? Oh, dude, listen to this. Um, this was keyed out of the article. Who the asphalt is, quote, um, oh, should I just, is more likely to show a depression. Here, he says, leaks are more likely to show depression. Okay, so there's a connection. Two last decades and perhaps a century. There's a connection between this article and John Williams James, for real. It's, mm -hmm. Oh, hold on, I'm not done. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that's okay, we can put between us. Leaking an eight inch water pipe. Eight inch water pipe. Property on Mulberry. 
cause a 30-foot deep sinkhole to open up between Green and Pocket Street. It's a last decade. Didn't he say something about decades and perhaps a century? Are those the lurds that were taken out? The last decades was taken out. The section Mulberry Street was taken out a few times, at least 50 years or perhaps a century. Okay. So he has a whole section in the uh, article. Yes. There's a connection between these two. Okay. Start trying to compare the same wording and why. Yeah, that's what. Okay, Google. Is there Sinkhole such highlights thing challenges of preventing, detecting infrastructure failings. Here are some results from the web. Is the Baltimore Sun a real thing? Baltimore Sun is a real. Yeah, it is. Um, but the people not, are probably like, why does this particular, why does this particular article get so many hits? Well, that's the thing. I don't think we're on the Baltimore Sun's website. Baltimore yeah, because I click on the top and it, it opens it? up a new tab. It tells me the web web page I'm on is Google.com. Mine says Baltimore Sun. Definitely. No, mine says Baltimore Sun, but when you click out, it opens a new tab. And I'm wondering why. Not to the same article. Yeah. Oh, a leak in an 8-inch water pipe, not an 8-inch leak. Okay. Feeding a single property. Okay, so it's not like other people were losing water pressure. It's just one property. I think Scott Dance is an actual real-life reporter, too. I, I, I really think this is an actual Baltimore Sun thing, man. It doesn't go out of the, it, it, for me it is the same site. I can navigate the site. For me it's a Google site with real ads put in because it's showing stuff that I've searched for in the past. Has anyone doing HIK found out any info about the single property that was fed by the leaky pipe? Yes, while well, looking for all the words that are redacted now. Me too. I'm in the process of filling in all the redacted words and see if it leads me to something. Anyone find this article while working for it? Yes. Pay attention to the water main carries more water than the leaky pipe. Oh. What? Okay, that's a hint. That's not a spoiler. Pay attention in the letter, it says... How do you know it's not a spoiler? It could be a spoiler, I've already read it now. Um, <laughs> pay attention to the water main carries more water than the leaky pipe. Does it say, letter, does it say says, that in there? And you hear about the water main? Yeah. I don't remember, it wasn't blocked out. I've got all the blocked out wor words. Was there anything about um, leaky in the... Article. Weird. Here's something. Um, three blocked things that are connected are like of the blocked out things when you put them in a row. One group says breaks and leaks are more likely to show a depression. Like break and leaks was one, R A R E was another, and then last was more likely to show depression. Does it spell anything if you use the first letters? Well, what he, Bam. Bam. What he said was. Um, Unfortunately for me, the majority of those behind desk making decisions, breaks and leaks, are more likely to show depressions to last decades and perhaps a century. Yeah, oh my god, that's there too. That's exactly, that, that's, yeah, that's the last two That's words. what we're saying. So yeah. he's, taking these wor he's taking this article and he blocked out certain words and put it in his letter. Why? What does that have to do with anything? Oh, uh, there's a whole subreddit to, to catch it. Oh, I'm sure. This, by the way. Sure. So what does that have to do? That's obviously a clue because he says I'm going this next breaks and leaks are more likely to show depression, but here it says breaks and leaks are more likely to show what? A depression. 
It does say depression. Yeah, no, it's exact. Okay. It's exact. He's really pulling. So this has to be important. Something that. Mm -hmm. It's, oh, and it's so <laughs> out of place too. Like think, what? Check out Scott's Twitter page. Read his description. Read his bio. Don't at me about single. <laughs> Let, so listen to this. So that, so the the wording on this is really weird. Unfortunately for me, to the majority of those behind desk making decisions, breaks and leaks are more likely to show depression. So. So it's weird. It's like he literally pulled it out of the article and just put it randomly in the. Paragraph. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Because it doesn't. The sin structure doesn't make sense. Right. Those behind desk making decisions, break and leaks, are more likely to show depression to last decades and perhaps a century. I had a hard time reading that the first time through because it didn't make sense. Unfortunately for me, to the majority uh -oh. of those behind desk making decisions, but you and I time to take a personal call. Y'all keep going. What you and I know is more than that. Is the feeling of longing for that roast of knowledge. Yes. This is the one. What? Here it says breaks and leaks are more likely to show. Why was he reading this? And why did he take those specific words out? Oh, don't cheat, man. I'm not cheating. I'm looking at the article. The water main. It doesn't have anything about the water main in it. How'd you get to a comment section? On the what? On the, uh, Article? Yeah, scroll down. How far down did you have to scroll? All the way in the bottom. Oh, uh, I don't know. It's, I, I'm on I'm on the actual Baltimore Sun. I'm, I'm trying to not be. sure what you're at. I'm not sure why your guys are looking at something different. I'm not looking I'm not trying to. How did you get there? Googled it and then I Googled I Googled yeah. I read the uh, sinkhole highlights challenges. That's what I'm doing. Let me see the words that you wrote down. What's up, buddy? Hey, man. serious here. We're doing it in a, inside escape room. Everything good last night? Everything went great. You didn't know. Mr. Stella Artois. Just picked up me a 12 pack of summer shandy. Nice. And an 18 of Miguel Light. I think we're going to go see Detroit tonight. That's the way it sounded on the conference call. Where's Detroit? The, the movie. movie. Detroit. Oh. I know nothing of the movie. It's about the 1967 riots in so downtown Detroit. Really? Like literally, the Tigers would be playing on what they call the corner, which is Michigan and Trumbull Avenue, and there would be a riot going on. Do you know who Trumbull is? Referring to Hamilton? Yeah. Actually, it's John not, Trumbull. It's John Trumbull. What's he famous for? Painting the uh, paintings of the. Um, folks signing the Declaration of Independence. That's tomorrow. right. And it's nowhere near accurate. Oh yeah. They, all of them are assholes. They hated each other. For the most part, there was like uh, like 15 people in the room when it actually went down. And they, they were ready to fight one another. They went everywhere. Right. Uh, Thomas Jefferson and Ben Franklin disagreeing on every sentence. Hated each other. Interesting <laughs> thing, when you Google John William James, a Baltimore Sun article comes up that says city worker falls into Mulberry Street sinkhole. Yeah, there was, a, there was a sinkhole thing. and I, I tell, tell us more about it. Uh, tell us what you know. Just it was a big deal in the city. I think they tried to sue the city. Last year? Uh, what city? Baltimore. It happened in Baltimore. That's my recollection. All right. How, what made, how did you know that? Or what? Memories. He, he, he lives off the Drudge Report. News. Okay. <laughs> news. I, I'm, a, I'm a damn news hall. Like, yeah. That was my job. But. You boys have fun with your, uh, your game. Appreciate it, man. It was uh, early yesterday, July 4th, when uh, the roadway uh, collapsed.
attached. Uh, there was a uh, water main break on a eight inch water line. The water had been running for some time and uh, eroded the uh, earth under the road. That created a, a condition where the road could not uh, support itself anymore and gave way. As the day went on, the opening in the street continued in size until is John William James the guy who fell into the sinkhole? Yes. How do we know that? Oh, I'm assuming that it is. Because he's that's the name that pops up. Uh, it says that in the uh, article. It does? I didn't see that. This is a different article. Uh, um, that's the one I found. If you can see his name, that'd be great. His name's on your No other details on the worker's fall were available, it does not say. So, uh, William, other names associated with the article? Okay. Or John Fritz and Colin Campbell? Is that John Fritz, F R I T Z E? Okay. And Colin Campbell, also, also of the Baltimore Sun, apparently the only publication to cover this sinkhole that happened in Maryland. Happened in your backyard, and you don't know anything about it. I didn't know anything about it. So, yeah, this didn't help. I was hoping all the the le first letters would turn into something. They did. My my question is, and this is my biggest problem with this thing right now is, are we supposed to solve something, or are we just collecting clues right now? That's going to eventually tie it together. I think right now we we're getting pretty far. Um, so yeah, you know, these I two you're have a like. big connection right now. These have the biggest connection. We haven't figured this out. This is kind of by what itself. These things do. What does this do? Like, I wish there was a point, like, okay, you found everything you need to find. It looks very much like a swish cut. Like, there's a thing of mouthwashing here. Or the ketchup thing. Mm hmm. You put ketchup in it. Okay, so the biggest connection between the constellation and the swan is Greece, right? It's Greek. Greek mythology. Um, the swan was Zeus uh, hiding himself as a swan to seduce um, Spartan warrior Leda, L-E-D-A. Leda and Castor, um, <laughs> her son Castor and Leda were um, often names of clone projects. Is this what we have to, like, a hunter stalks his prey, he gets inside um, his head? This guys, hey, the swan, a serial killer ballet in Baltimore. This is an actual this is an actual um, ballet that's happening in Baltimore. That right. happened in Baltimore on September 13th, 2016. Performance artist and dancer Diagnostios the Swan performed at EMP Collective and later at Lab Bodies Performance Art Review. At times felt clumsy, its text a rushed attempt to wed the dramatic choreography of the Dying Swan Ballet to the transgressive universe of Dennis Cooper's George Miles novels. As a theatrical experience, however, Diagnostio delivered a series of tableau, tableau, viviants, tableau? No, table, table, ooh, something French. Viviants on par with, it is taboo, you're right, of taboo, I didn't know how to say you spell taboo. Tableau. Um, par with bloody and baroque beauty found in Peter Greenaway films. An online hookup turns homicidal in the performance's first act, a monologue-driven driven naval gaze of stock disturbia. 
but in the performance's second half, Diagnostio delivers a visual knockout, ingeniously blending balletic movement to grand bujon. <laughs> this guy's really into into uh so the, the only ballet. connection I can get between this the swan stuff and everything is Billy you can because so Zeus turned into a swan. So you get along the lines of a hunter stalks his prey, he gets inside its head, he knows the prey, he understands its behaviors. The yeah. best hunters commune with their court. Mm. So Zeus was hunting Leda and got inside her head and even loved her. That's another line you're reading just a minute. He loved her because he created the twins. Two sets of twins. A mortal and immortal set of twins. The jock strap two two clad and point point shoeing shoe wearing Dignastio drenched in stage blood invites the audience to clothes pin individual feathers to his body, transforming him into a gorgeously disturbing and disturbingly gorgeous bird man of prey. There's a ton of posts online about Lita and the Swan. Oh boy. The pr yeah, I guess my biggest thing is, are we supposed to solve something, or is this just the first step in like, okay, we kind of know all this stuff. The, o the only thing we have found nothing for is the mouthwash cup, or ketchup cup, whatever we want to call and it. The, That's, the pin. I is know. the pin, and this is what's also stupid, is the pin like, oh cool, now you get to wear this on, on your backpack? Or is there like an actual use for it? I feel like the, the book and the pen are not part of the story. I won't believe that too. Because we didn't find anything in the book, right? Like, there's no. I haven't really looked through it though. No secret page or any pages with hidden text. So I'm looking at a guy in stage blood. People are clothes pinning feathers to him. It's it's uh it's out there. That's, this is art. You want me to go on to the forum? Are we at that point? I can call Angela. Angela's been doing this. Angela just got hers in. Is she on the party bus? She probably is. She's going to be drunk. It's going to be interesting, folks. Stay tuned. I can't get a phone. She won't answer. Well, I can't get it to ring. Do you have any signal? It says I do. Oh, there we go. There it is. Hi. Please leave your message right. for four four She's three like, four five eight two. You think you're you're gonna get stopped. Time is down. I'm gonna answer your phone. Time is now to think of kings and wax and jelly wax and something and ups and kings. <laughs> you know what I'm referencing, but I, I do. Know what it I is. do know you got it horribly wrong. <laughs> so bad that I can't get it right. Ships and something and ceiling wax and cabbages and kings. Much closer. Oh boy, here we go, guys. The Ratcliffe Highway Murders were two vicious attacks on two separate families that resulted in seven fatalities. The two attacks occurred within 12 days in December 1811 
in homes half a mile apart near Wapping, London. The guy's name was John Williams. He was also known as John Murphy. John Murphy. So there's that, but I don't know if it has anything to do with all this. Oh, some people say it's a medicine cup, so it could be a Maswath cup, a medicine cup, or ketchup cup. Ketchup cup. I mean, a medicine cup. you, if you were in an insane asylum, you would yeah. get your, if you were in a prison, you would get your pills in this. So maybe that has the connection to do with um, all the stuff we read on Facebook about, it is John Williams James... Is he a prisoner or is he in a medical facility? I'm trying to figure out what him falling in the sinkhole had to do with him ending up in a... That's assuming he is the guy who fell in the sinkhole. Yeah, we don't know for sure if he is or not. The articles, but that was only in the, what the search thought. But if, if he is in... But no, it's impossible for him to be the guy in the sinkhole because if he's in prison copying word for word what's in this article, how would that work? I can read a paper. No, I mean, like, if he was the one that fell in the sinkhole, he wouldn't have time to, I mean, unless, I don't know. I think it's impossible for him to be the guy in the sinkhole accident. So, what's, oh, where did you write, where's your, I got, I got, I got the writing on. It says, what's blacked out is where's the original letter? This one. The leaky Lumber Street, Green and Papa, York Road. Park the leaky pipe carries more water. Making decisions, breaks, and leaks are more likely to show depression to last decades and perhaps a century. In the article, it says the leaky pipe carries more water, breaks. The leaky pipe carries more water, breaks are more likely to show a depression to last decades, perhaps a century. I don't want to keep looking at the forum because they're actually giving more clues than I was. Open. So, latitude for Philadelphia. First star of magnitude. First, second star of magnitude. Third star of magnitude. Fourth star of magnitude. And it's different shaped stars for different ones. Okay. What is the third star of magnitude of Cygnus? Okay, so the John Murphy guy I told you about, mm -hmm. he apparently killed his victims with something called a pinball. Pinball, M-A-U-L? Mm -hmm. If only they allowed me a pin. Mm -hmm. There's a, there's, I can't tell if the, I'm on Listening Friends of America's Facebook site, I can't tell if these people that are I think, the top comments? One, I think the top reviewer is part of the thing, the rest are not. Well, this, um, if you look at the box. Guess what you call a female swan? What? A pen. A pen? P-E-N. Really? That's what you call a female swan. So, he's got some Zeus complex. I don't know. I think the purpose of your organization, I think this is what you read earlier, allowing those isolated by incarceration in prisons or mental hospitals an outlet through written communication with a non-judgmental correspondent in the outside world is wonderful, potentially very therapeutic. However, I do have a few concerns. The first is that the inspectors have reviewed the packages I have received quite I receive, I re have received seem quite naive and not very thorough in determining what should be sent and said to unsuspecting members of the public, i.e. a sharp, razor sharp knife hidden inside the pen, a pen dripping with blood 
that did I use? Is there a second question or intervention? Sounds like a third party facilitator. A murderpedia. Um, it says that John Murphy, the guy who did these murders, mm -hmm. beating with a pinball or cutting their throats with a razor. This is 1811. Yeah. Date of birth, 1784. The Ratcliffe Highway murder. Is there any year date on the Constellation, Billy? London, England. United Kingdom committed suicide. Not here, no. Only September 23rd, October 8th, and October 23rd. John Williams. It's John Murphy and the Ratcliffe. Um, they're called the Ratcliffe Highway Murders. Now what this has to do with a sinkhole and leaky water pipes, I have no idea. My question is, is this the actual John Murphy? Is this someone I think that's our copycat because John aliens? Murphy John Murphy was eighteen hundreds, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this um, this article was two thousand sixteen. Or is the article pulling from the letter? I have no idea. I don't think so. I think an article at the Baltimore Sun, so you think maybe Scott dances or murder? I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna tweet Scott Dance, you murderer. <laughs> Admit like, to your crime. He's like, stop texting me, I'm not playing the damn game. I'm sure Scott loves this company. Oh, I'm sure. That was pretty deep, what you figured out here. How you went off well, down. what we need to start doing is like every name. Like, I just did his name in serial murder because he's the first one who seems like someone who could be killing people. I think we just need the second box. It's like a TV show. We've, we, there's only so much we can find out from all of this. Spill Mulberry. M-U-L-B-E-R-R. -R. It's right in front of you, actually. Mulberry Street is a 2006 cult horror film. 70% of our tomatoes. 70% <laughs> on Rotten Tomatoes. It is a street in Manhattan. I would not make a good detective. I'd start getting frustrated. You know, just arrest this guy. Just yeah. take him in. Don't, don't just arrest him. Execute him so other people don't try what he did. Or what we think he did. <laughs> Yeah, I guess get the second episode and no, see where that leads I us. I think there's more for us to learn. Um, I just don't. This is this is not going to be like a sit down for an hour type thing and figure everything out. Well, we don't like we know. Were thinking. We don't know what the. This is going to be actual research. We're actually going to have to. I'm not getting paid enough for this shit. <laughs> So the excitement has died down. Are, are we at a are we at an impasse here? Like, are, are we waiting for episode two so we can find out more? I guess. All right. Well, hey, we have broken the thing out. We've got a good base established. We've got you know got some some headway on the clues. We're we're seeing things that are correlating to each other. We haven't. So we got a good start here. We don't have. Um, a lot past that yet, though. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. We have been, and uh, we will see you on the next one. Keep moving forward, y'all.